Amnesty International have filed a lawsuit in an Israeli court following the WhatsApp security breach earlier this week, accusing intelligence firm NSO Group of failing to show due diligence in the export of their spyware software. Amnesty International have filed a lawsuit in Israel which says its staff may be under surveillance since the WhatsApp hacking scandal. Amnesty are also petitioning the Israeli government for revocation of the NSO Group's export license. The cyber intelligence firm whose software WhatsApp said was behind the breach. Facebook owned Messenger app, WhatsApp, said on Tuesday the security breach may have targeted human rights groups and that the sophisticated spyware deployed, known as Pegasus, was developed by NSO. Amnesty's affidavit at the Israeli court said. Staff of Amnesty International have an ongoing and well-founded fear they may continue to be targeted and ultimately surveilled. British investor and philanthropist Stephen Peel, whose company Noval Pina owns a controlling stake in NSO, co-signed the letter to Amnesty on Wednesday. NSO Group's offices in Herzliya, Israel, they are accused of allowing their spyware to fall into the wrong hands. Noval Pina. In their letter said it was determined to do whatever is necessary to ensure that NSO technology is used for the purpose for which it is intended the prevention of harm to fundamental human rights arising from terrorism and serious crime and not abused in a manner that undermines other equally fundamental human rights. NSO say they only sell their technology to law enforcement and intelligence agencies pursuing legitimate targets, such as terrorists and criminals. Amnesty said in an emailed statement this week that NSO has again and again demonstrated their intent to avoid responsibility for the way their software is used, and that only government intervention would change that. Related articles previous one next minister admits government does not yet know.